I built this so that we could do the best quality for our chefs. Chefs cooking all kinds of cuisines go to Jeff Latham's Nikki USA. Nothing here is really massively automated. It's more of the small butcher shop. A family-run meat wholesaler in Portland for 30 years, built on catering to chefs on whatever kinds of meats and cuts they want to cook with, whether it's locally sourced or comes in from Japan or New Zealand. All right, this is one of my favorite rooms in here. Oh, wow. Look at this. We got, got some aging uh, prime ribs for some clients right there. Then suddenly when people couldn't sit down and eat, sources like this saw a dramatic drop in orders to take from restaurants and chefs. Jeff proudly shares how that pushed him to adjust. I definitely uh, have had a wonderful, you know, a great career so far and trying to get stuff from the farm or the wild to chef's tables. And this last year we, you know, pivoted and been very thankful for the general population that's really come and supported us on our new Dockside program. Instead of relying on wholesale transactions, he opened up sales to people who wanted in on what local top chefs were using to cook at home. It's not like before, but it's a way to keep business going. And Jeff is optimistic. I, it's gonna take a long time to get where we were because we were rolling, but I do believe that the next year and a half, we'll, we will get so many more people back with restaurants. The, the hardest working people in, in, in town are restaurant tours, and they're gonna come back, and there's just a, and there'll be a lot of support uh, for the you know for the restaurant end. Perhaps the exterior of Nikki USA tells some of the story about his growth too. You've even got the Goonies Island over there. He put on it for me. Jeff says it would get tagged with graffiti. Then he recently found an artist to make this mural in an effort to deter graffiti while personalizing the space too. Did you see the little beaver over there that's chewing on a tree? That's a new view outside, reflecting Jeff's optimism within the walls. That's as he looks ahead at Portland's restaurant industry. And next year could be like the Roaring Twenties. So that's what I'm hoping for, but the Roaring 2020s.